Hi there. My name is Jonathan. In this video we will talk about monitoring and analyzing key risk indicators in an organization. Key risk indicators are used to identify and track risks, as well as their potential impact on the organization. KRIs are used to analyze the efficacy of the organization's risk management strategies. They also help in identifying risk and control gaps in order to improve the company's security posture. Monitoring and analyzing key risk indicators is critical for effective risk management. This process entails tracking the indicators on a regular basis and analyzing their trends and patterns over time. This enables organizations to identify potential risks and take steps to mitigate them before they become a major issue. Let's review some data sources that are utilized for monitoring and reporting on risks. Logs are a valuable source of information for analyzing security events and potential risks. Organizations collect logs from different systems, such as firewalls, servers, and applications. These logs are stored in a central and secure location for further analysis. Analysis of log data can identify security violations, aid in forensics investigations, and alert the enterprise to a developing threat. A security audit report provides an extensive overview of the organization's security capabilities and recommends countermeasures for security remediation. These reports serve as a valuable source for identifying potential security weaknesses in their systems or processes and take proactive steps to mitigate them. Security incident reports are documents that contain the written account of all the facts related to an incident in an enterprise. Incident reports also highlight trends or lessons learned that allow companies to predict and prepare for future incidents, as well as allocate resources where they are most needed. External sources such as trade publications, media reports, and computer emergency repost team advisories also serve as important data sources for monitoring emerging risks. Reports compiled by different independent information providers helps in identifying potential risks not yet experienced by the organization. Let's review some techniques used for analyzing the key risk indicators. Statistical analysis is one of the most commonly used techniques for analyzing KRIs. This technique involves analyzing data using statistical methods to identify patterns, outliers, trends, and correlations between different KRIs. There are various statistical techniques used for analyzing KRIs such as regression analysis, correlation analysis, and time series analysis. One of the most important tools that utilizes statistical approach is security information and event management tools. It collects event log data from a range of sources, identifies activity that deviates from the norm with real-time analysis, and takes appropriate action. Another technique for analyzing KRIs is data visualization. This method involves displaying data in a visual format, such as graphs, charts, and dashboards. Data visualization can help identify trends and patterns in data faster than raw data analysis. By presenting the data in a clear and concise manner, it aids in identifying the most critical KRIs for the company. Dashboards are frequently used for data visualization and provide an instant snapshot of an organization's performance. Dashboards can be tailored to display different KRIs for various departments or stakeholders. Integrated Test Facility is a testing methodology that can be used to monitor the performance and operation of an application. ITF sets up several fictitious customers or transactions and processes these along with real data through production systems. The results of this processing is used to test whether systems are working correctly, detect potential problems within critical processes, or detect risk conditions. Benchmarking is a technique used to compare an organization's KRIs against those of its peers or industry standards. Benchmarking can help companies to identify areas where they may be lagging behind their peers and to take action to improve their performance. Expert judgment involves analyzing KRIs based on the opinions of subject matter experts. In this technique, experts such as risk managers, compliance officers, or industry experts provide their valuable insights on different threats and organizational risks. I hope you now have a clear understanding of KRIs and how they are monitored and analyzed to gain information on the organization's risk exposure.
In the next video we will talk about reporting these results to the management and key stakeholders. Stay tuned. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.